other sixth grade violins. Um, this is page uh, 15 in our, our Essential Elements book. And we're going to work on G sharp. Now, for violins, this is just your two on the day on your E string. So if you look at number 62, we count one, two, ready, play. And if you notice that measure three and four are not just G sharps, they change. So we have F sharp on the tape, G sharp on the tape, and our third fingers on the tape, and there, and you have a half step there. So those fingers will be together. Now, if we look at number 63, that's the A major scale. And this is the A major scale that's starting on our A string. So we're going to play two on the tape, on both your A and your E string, three on the tape. So this should, this, this should be very easy for violin. Violas, they're going to be playing on their uh, G string, so um, they've got a few things to deal with. But for us, we're just going to play it on our A, a and E string like we finger uh, the G scale and the D scale. when we play our scales we don't repeat that top top note but here we're going all the way to the top and we only play it one time you've got a rest there you lift and then we start from that top note again all right um number 64 the arpeggios we've been playing arpeggios so uh this should be pretty easy so we go from a C, E, A, A, C sharp. Violins, those are all on your tapes. When I'm ready, go. Number 65, uh, the fig tree. We're going to start <laughs> at the top of our a, a scale and go down and then go turn around and go back up. Watch your rhythm. One, two, ready, go. in the fig tree is dynamic. So if you look at the beginning of your piece, there's an F under there. And that stands for forte, which in Italian means loud. Then you see D-E-S-R-E-S-C. -E -E That's decrescendo. So you're going to start to get slower, uh, not slower, softer. And then if you look at the end of measure four, you have piano. So we start loud. There's three different things we can do to that it will affect our dynamics. One is use more bow. Two, 
if this is if we're gonna if we're getting louder use more bow add some weight don't really push but just add some weight make it a little heavier and bow speed so more bow speed more weight and more bow um and uh yeah oh and then the other thing is is here if you get a little closer to the bridge here you'll get a little louder so if you're going to get softer you're going to go away from the bridge a little bit let's not play on the fingerboard but you can come away a little bit slow the boat speed down just a little bit and make it lighter so like this I got closer to the bridge and I started to add weight and a little bit more. Bow. All right. So um, our last song on page 15 is Sitka City. There's things that you need to think about when we start this. This is number 66. First, we got to think about the bowing. We're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up down up i would practice that a few times before you worry about the left hand then the other thing is we want to make sure we're using our fourth finger and then measure uh five six seven eight is the same but it's soft so it's kind of, it's called it's kind of an echo you're going to play louder to measure nine we have these things that look like hairpins or um greater than signs so you are going that's called an accent so we add a little pinch with the finger so we add some weight and we pull fast stretch that fourth finger all the way up so it's in tune we don't want okay check your third finger mark and your fourth finger mark there let me play the whole thing for you one time Miss you guys. Bye-bye.